Well, job tours are coming this week, so yeah, gotta do a tutorial about it, so yeah. So if you didn't know, job tours are coming this uh, week. Uh, it should be on a live stream on another Traven talk. Should be tomorrow. So anyways, about job towers, you're only allowed to use a specific class for that job tower. Example, for a warrior job tower, you only can use warriors of that class, like Elisa, Tickling, Gorin, those type of characters. And it does bring some, some sort of challenge in the game and some new content to actually try out, like try this new unit in this set tower, what, how strong does he do? Like stuff like that. Also, I I apologize if my like my voice is like sounds weird because I do not use a microphone at all. Uh, this is just like me holding my iPad and just like making the video. So yeah. So, job towers should be like an extra content that you will do, starting when you beat. It should be around like when you get the main tower. Which you get from like the nameless town as soon as you unlock the town of resemblance. So, uh, how difficult is um, the job powers? Well, by far the hardest one, and I kid you not, the hardest one that we're gonna get is the warrior one. Because one, it's the only job tower, like, it's the hardest difficulty there is like 15 turns while. Every single else, uh, one else is basically like you get 99 turns for free, but for warrior, you only get 15, which is like why it's that's so difficult. The boss is like tanky, but like you can beat him without a Lisa, but she's like 99% of the must have because she's the only warrior that could uh, gives a front row uh, regeneration and heal and stuff like that. Um. For like the hunter tower, uh, stuff are like million times easily, the, cause you can literally like one break, especially with but uh, courage exchanges, cause like, he has like a, twenty five percent bow resistance down, on his own, which is like insane for, pre half university unit. Many speculate that Quell should be coming around this week because she's a she's basically a healer but a hunter and they they will make this type of characters for every single class so you can like somewhat sustain your hp while in the job towers so what do you get from job towers uh you get uh fragments and if you, if it's a re ex refi you get some tasty and not large if you beat some of them uh, I think it's only the level 101, but I'm not 100% sure. The, the rewards you get from the job towers consist of... Uh, this is like... For every... Uh, you get... The, so the warrior tower, right? You get... 30% uh, an accessory. That's 30% sword damage up. Uh, you get Tickling's Awakening Zone. And stuff like that. That's for every champion, but they are locked behind the shop. This shop, uh, basically like, resets every every month except for the thirty percent accessory one, because that thirty accessory one has that's free cap damage up. So yeah, there's no way they are giving infinite infinite amount of those pure months. So uh, how much do you get from job towers, like? for clearing every single stage it's actually 10 stages and well it's technically five stages but they come with ex3 fights so that makes it 10 so how much do you get pure si every single stage so i will be making a short right here on the screen that shows every single stage and the clear how you get how much you get so yeah how much does it cost stuff to buy for the job tower? I also got another shard, but this time you can't... The shards do not save. So you can just like infinitely stack those uh, shards and get like easy amount of uh, stuff that you want. You have 
to strategize what to buy and there are some priorities of course so basically uh what are the priorities for me to do like should i uh buy this or buy this buy what uh you can like if you can beat uh all the stages easily i folk i would focus on the getting the accessory and then the awakening so for the champion that's it uh, if you can't focus on these three things, get the awakened stone for the champion, get the traveler secret seal, and basically get uh, the golden secret seal, uh, which cost one thousand. Why uh, traveler secret seal? Because it's only cost one hundred. First off, uh, it's basically an equivalent of thirty rubies uh, for general pool, but yeah. Yeah, 30 rubies. That's like technically 30 rubies, but general pull only. But like, that's still good. You can pull a four star, yeah, but like, it's extra bit of guide stones overall, which makes over overall st stacks up. Especially, we're getting eight. So, we're getting eight from the, sh the shop towers alone. And in the future, we are getting a memory shard uh, shop update. Where we're gonna get uh, three traveler secret seals a month at the cost of uh, at the cost of three hundred shards, pure one of them. So we can get eleven traveler secret seals a month, with basically without like spending rubies and stuff like that. Which is, if you think about it, that is actually like very helpful for a pure free to play players. And speaking of which, I hope like this like sort of uh, sort of explanation of like some of the job towers uh, is basically helpful for you i there is another there is a site that i will link down to the description about job towers and exactly uh, what they have in the inside of them uh and if you like have a question that is unsolved Basically, she joined the uh, Shizuka's Discord server, which I will also link in uh, the description. Uh, and just type in the Ian Cher, uh, Ian Cher one, and hopefully somebody uh, responses to you, stuff like that. And so, uh, basically, if you enjoy the video and the summary, uh, consider subscribing. That's it. Uh, bye.